This is a really good question uh, that was posted on Blackboard. And I'm just going to go back and read it to you. So we have a 0 0.376 gram sample right here of uh, iron ore. So iron ore is basically the dirt in the ground. Um, iron is inside of that. Okay, so you can think of it as in, an impure iron sample or, or just think of it as what it is. It's iron ore, so it contains a certain amount of iron in there. But the sample of the dirt or the ore is 0.376 grams. Now, this uh, iron ore is dumped into an acid solution. It's dissolved in acid. And it, all of the iron that was in the original ore is now soluble. So the iron ore is mixed, I should say mixed, really not dissolved. It's mixed with acid and all the iron that is in that sample is now soluble. And it's soluble as the iron 2 plus ion. So Fe2 plus aqueous. So that's that first step. And we don't have to worry about any stoichiometry there. All right, now I take that Fe2 plus aqueous, and that's what's showing up here. I take that, and I put it in a little Erlenmeyer flask, and I fill my burette with potassium permanganate. I fill it with a 0 0.02140 molar standardized solution of my permanganate ion. Now, I could have written this just as MnO4 minus, because clearly the potassium is not involved here, it's spectator. But I've left it there because it says potassium permanganate solution in the question. Okay, so um, this is redox, obviously, and when we get to the point where we have to balance the potassium, we're going to add a potassium as K+. Plus. Um, and it says that what is produced is manganese 2 plus ion, and iron 3 plus ion. Now, I've, I'm not sure if this is showing up, if, uh, but I've highlighted this here, the 3 plus, because in the original, in the wording that was posted on Blackboard, and I've since create, uh, corrected, the fi in the file name made a note, uh, it said that this was iron 2 plus, and clearly it can't be. So it starts out as 2 plus, but it's actually oxidized uh, to 3 plus, because we've done enough redox questions now with the potassium permanganate or the permanganate ion to know that this guy is a strong oxidizing agent. It's affecting the oxidization of the iron. And so we're told that this um, in this titration, 41.25 milliliters of this uh, permanganate ion oxidizing agent was needed. And we want to find out what was the mass percent iron in the original ore sample. So. How do you go about this? Well, um, think of this, this plus this equals this plus this, as an unbalanced redox equation. So apply your rules for balancing redox equations in aqueous solution to this unbalanced equation. Okay, so in order to do that, the first thing you're going to do is sign, assign oxidation numbers to all of this. Identify what is oxidizing, what is being reduced. You will find that the iron is being oxidized from 2 to 3. The manganese is being reduced from 7 to 2. And so you'll have two half reactions. The oxidation half reaction will just be written as Fe2 plus goes to Fe3 plus. That'll be straightforward. And your reduction half reaction will be written as KMnO4 goes to Mn2 plus. And just add a K plus when you need to balance your potassium. So do those, those half reactions out, balance your electron transfer in the end, and then put them back together as a single equation. When you put them back together as a single equation, then it becomes a stoichiometric uh, question like we've done in conversion pathways. And think of a new question that would be worded now with your balanced equation. Um, what 
or let's say, uh, yeah, what mass of iron is required to react completely with 41.25 mils of this concentration KMnO4. And you can do that in the conversion pathway because you would convert from a volume of KMnO4 solution to a number of moles of KMnO4 to a number of moles of iron to a mass of iron now that mass of iron is inside the mass of iron ore. So take your mass of iron found in, in theory what, what must have reacted with it. That mass of iron is a fraction of this multiply by a hundred get your mass percent. That's how this question is done and I'm going to turn the video off and proceed to work that out. And when we're done, we'll just show 30 seconds so that you can see the solution. So have fun doing this one. It's a great question.